factor by grouping. The grouping technique is often useful when we have four terms in a polynomial. So notice, well, the first thing we would always ask is, is there a common factor for the entire polynomial? And there isn't. So what I like to do is I look at the first two terms and ask myself, do they share a common factor? The first two terms have a common factor of 2p. So I'll write the first two terms as 2p times 3p minus 5. And then I look at the second grouping, the remaining two terms. They have a common factor of 5, and I'll, so I will write plus 5, and that would leave a 3p minus 5. Now notice that I have two terms with a common factor of 3p minus 5, so that factors as 3p minus 5 by 2p plus 5. Exercise B, 8m squared plus 12mn minus 10m minus 15n. First two terms share a factor of 4m. So I'd have 4m by 2m plus 3n. The second two terms, minus 10m minus 15, they share a factor of 5, but now since in general, when that third term is a negative, you want to factor out a negative. So I'm going to factor out a negative 5 here. Negative 5 times 2m is negative 10m. Negative 5 times a positive 3n is a negative 15n. So now I see the common factor of 2m plus 3n, and it was multiplied by 4m minus 5.